Hey guys, Caleb here, and this is the new Rode VideoMic Go 2, and at $100, you're not going to find another microphone that has as many features as this tiny microphone does. You can use it on cameras, boom poles, or even on your computer as an input and output with headphone direct monitoring. There's a lot going on with this tiny microphone. In a second, we'll dive into the features and sound quality of this little guy, but first, a quick disclaimer. Rode did send me this microphone for review, but they haven't seen this video, they're not paying me. And all of that said, I have ordered two of these for myself because I'm a big fan. The Rode Wireless Go 2 is a super cardioid mini shotgun, meaning it is fairly directional with a slight tail at the rear of the pickup pattern. The Go 2 comes with a Rycote style mount, which is adjustable and has cable management built in, a front foam cover, USB-C to A cable, and a super thin 3.5 millimeter cable for connecting to your camera. The body of the microphone is tiny, as you can see here compared to the Rode Video Micro and Rode Video Mic NTG. The Go 2 also has shielding so you can use it with devices like the Rode Wireless Go 2 and there will be no hum or interference issues. For inputs and outputs we have a USB-C jack on one side and a 3.5 millimeter TRS output on the other. This mic uses plug-in power so you simply connect it to your camera and you're done. But things get really interesting when you connect the Go 2 to your computer or smartphone. Once connected the Go 2 shows up as an audio input for your computer so you can use it for live streams, meetings, podcasts, or even gaming, and when you fire up the Rode Central app, you can unlock a ton of additional options. There is a pad which drops the output by about 18 dB, input level control when using the microphone with a computer or phone, high pass filter for cutting out unwanted low frequency sounds, a high frequency boost for use with the optional furry windshield, and finally we have the monitoring options. With the microphone connected over USB, you can use it as an audio output for your computer, and if desired, you can also also turn on direct monitoring with this button in the software. Once on, you will hear the sound from the microphone with zero latency along with your system sound. And you can adjust the output volume of the microphone to match your computer sound using a slider in the software. This is perfect for anyone using a microphone with a computer because you can perfectly balance out what you're hearing over your computer as well as what's coming from the microphone and get that mix just right. On top of all that, using the right adapter, you can make all of these changes on your phone using the Rode Central mobile app. All of that is great, but how does the microphone actually sound? Well, I did a comparison against the Deity D4 Mini, which so far has been the best budget option at around 50 bucks. I also threw in a recording from the Rode Video Micro and compared them to the Rode Video Mic Go 2. These recordings were done with the microphones boomed just out of frame and recorded into my A7S III with levels set to 10 in camera, and I matched the levels in post-production so let's take a listen. This is an audio test. My name's Caleb Pike, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, four. This is an audio test. My name's Caleb Pike, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, four. This is an audio test. My name is Caleb Pike, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, four. As you probably heard, the Rode VideoMic Go 2 had a lot more going on when it comes to the lower frequencies compared to those other two microphones, but what you couldn't hear was the level difference between this and those other microphones. The Go 2 is the most sensitive of these three, with second place going to the Deity D4, which was 3 dB quieter than the Go 2, and the Rode Video Micro was in last place as it was 7 dB quieter than the Go 2. So when it comes to sensitivity, this microphone is great because you're going to have more output, which means you don't have to push your camera's preamp as hard, which in the end will result in lower noise, which we always want. So for this next setup, we're going to be kind of creating a podcasting or live streaming setup using the Rode Go 2. So I have it mounted to this arm here. This is also made by Rode. I just kind of covered up the branding because it's a little too in your face in my opinion, but it's a great arm. It works really well. So when you're done streaming, you just push it out of the way. You're good to go. When you're ready to film or record a podcast, you just pull it out and you're good to go. So we've got the microphone. The USB cable is using the clips on the arm here. That's connected to my MacBook. And you'll see here on screen, I've got a recording going. We have the Rode Central app up and I can go up to my audio settings and you'll see that I have the output set to the Rode Video Mic Go 2. I'll let go of that and I can press on the option key, click it again, and you'll also see the input, which I can also set to the Rode Go 2. With that done, you can fire up any software and choose this microphone to use it. 
What I can also do at this point is take my headphones and plug it into the microphone's 3.5 millimeter. I'll put these on, and now I'm going to switch to a recording of this output so you can hear exactly what I'm hearing. So right now we can hear myself coming over this microphone. I'm also going to open up a browser here and start playing Gerald Undone's video in the background. With not wide angles where it just feels Now you like can hear Gerald. I can talk weirdly, over like Gerald. Moves. And the beautiful thing, let me pause walking. that real quick, is that I can control all these levels so that they're not, you know, fighting over each other. So if I need to hear myself more and Gerald less, I could turn him down. I could also go over to the Rode Central app and under the direct monitoring, we'll click that. We have direct monitoring turned on. You can see that with this icon here. And I can turn myself up really loud, oh my goodness, or turn it really, really, really low. You can just customize all these levels, which I absolutely love. If the microphone isn't loud enough, I can go into the input level here and make changes to that. Pretty straightforward stuff. So that's the beauty of this setup, is with a pair of headphones and this microphone and a fancy arm if you want, you can have a really, really simple setup using a single cable going to your computer. And just to round out the test, now I have the camera at arm's length with the microphone on top with the A7S III, and we're just gonna be able to see what this sounds like with the microphone a little further away from my face. So, this microphone is fantastic, but there are three things I wish Rode had done slightly differently or added to this thing. First, I wish Rode had included that furry windshield in the box along with the microphone, like they've done with the Rode Video Micro. I also wish there was an additional 3.5 millimeter jack that could be used as an output like the Deity D4 Mini. That way you could connect a Rode Wireless Go and have both mics fed into your camera or recorder. And finally, while the software options are great, I do wish some of those settings had numbers associated to them so you could more accurately see where your levels are. But even without those features, this is now my favorite on-camera microphone. I just love how many uses this thing has on a camera, on a boom pole, for software, podcasting, and even gaming, which is how I'm going to be using one of the two GoTo's that I purchased today. So if you wanna learn more about the GoTo, check out the information in the description. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you in the next video.